Okay, we are back. One more time. Like I said, I'd love to have a point where you guys kind of subscribe long enough for that to put up full painting session up on one in one go instead of have this stop every 10 seconds to friggin cut it because I don't know how to edit the software properly Shit. Sorry, didn't mean to square. Okay. Full of paint. It's the way I like it. Think I should go for it? You're probably asking, we'll go for what? Uh, one more tree. Let's go for it. Let's do this. Uh, we'll just make it really, really small. That way we get our vanishing point. And you can see how your eye is drawn this way, from right to left. Because you're on a slope. Your eye will... It's... it's your eye will move in certain ways depending on your perspective, your contrast, everything. Hey, stop it. Psst. I will highlight that. I'm just going to wait till it dries a little bit. Now I just got to figure out what to do here. I'm kind of painting myself into a mental corner here. In a sense. Um. I had a lot of teachers in my lifetime. I have had uh, quite a bit of success with most of them for the most part. I mean, my little one even teaches me stuff at times too. And he's only 10. But, I mean, 
It's all about your point of view, right? You know, no two people see the same painting the same way. Because the colors, the way the colors are... Not just that, but... Everybody's perceptions are different too. Some people favor certain colors. Some people, more colors are pleasing to others. As you can see, it's uh, starting to take even more shape. And my kitty is absolutely insane. Right, Ashes? See, so, yeah, this is kind of weird. I'm only limited to my space in my kitchen, so... I have to do some of this at an angle. <laughs> You know, once you get good enough at painting and drawing and stuff like that, and I will be doing painting and drawing demonstrations, obviously. Um, eventually, I'd like to do some pipe cleaner sculptures. Now, this is going to be really, really interesting because I, I got inspired from a trip I took down to Portland, Maine one time. And it was a beautiful city. I love Portland, Maine. I, I've never really been anywhere in the States except for Portland, Maine and Biddeford. And I had a great time. People there were, were, they were great. They were... No, within within about an hour of being there, we had a place to sleep and everything. And uh, they fed us. That they 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 had their door open to us and everything. It was great. I had a, I had a really good time there. And we went to this one exhibit. And uh, it was pipe cleaners. And a guy had made a guy or a woman. I can't remember offhand. So please don't get offended if it's you. Uh, they had a netting made completely out of uh, pipe cleaners, and that kind of inspired me. And I came back to the city, which is another story, but I came back to the city and I bought some pipe cleaners. And I started out and I was like, well, I'm going to make a vase. And I turned around and the vase actually ended up being a fish. That's funny that way. Sometimes you think, you know, you plan on doing one thing and you turn around and you do other things. Alright, gotta pause once again.